Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video. This time, we are back talking once again about the new wave of Security Breach plushies and their exclusives. So not too long ago, Puppet Steve received the Frost Bear plushie. Now, I didn't make a video about it, but he did also get the 6am, like, Survive Until 6am board game, which you can go watch if you want to. It's very interesting. It, it plays a lot differently than I was expecting, but I... I, I do want to get it, you know? It seems like an interesting game from how he showcased it, so if I remember, it's linked down below. And today, we have yet another video by Puppet Steve, and that is the Security Puppet Plushie. The Security Puppet, originally from FNAF 6, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, has finally had merchandise. This is their first set of merch, for some reason, I don't know, I guess. Um, they kind of fit in with some of the side characters in FNAF 6. Even though you do need them to get one of the endings, the Lore Keeper ending, you have to play their minigame like three or four times. Connection terminated. You know boys, I actually got a letter in my mail earlier and I thought I'd open it up with you. Okay, well let's open it up and see- oh. That's no bueno. So it looks like, guys, according to YouTube statistics, only 82.3% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoyed the videos, consider subscribing. It is free, and you can change your mind. Anyways, let's get back to the video. In communication. Yeah, they now have a plushie. I'll show it up on screen right now. I just finished watching Puppet Steve's video on it. Right off the bat, you can see it is very different from what the original puppet plushie was like. The security puppet is popping out of its box just like it does in FNAF 6. And the face is also, I believe Puppet Steve said something like a cloth like material, so it is a much different material than what the original Puppet plushie used. Now this one is another exclusive, again just like Frost Bear, but instead of being exclusive to Walmart, this one is a Hot Topic exclusive. Luckily, I do have a Hot Topic and Walmart near me, and I'm guessing sometime down the line, probably very soon, because for some reason these plushies are being showcased right now. It's also weird that they're giving them to Puppet Steve instead of just releasing them to the social media, but uh, whatever, I guess Funko, you do you. I'm guessing we're gonna get a GameStop one soon. Uh, what they could do, I don't know, because I was not expecting a character from FNAF 6 to get merch, right? Because we've all been talking about how FNAF Special Delivery and FNAF VR need merch. Um, so I, I just wasn't expecting a FNAF 6 guy. Yeah, so the fact that we got one is very interesting. Um, I don't know if that means they're gonna go back to older games and release products for those characters, or if they will do a Dreadbear plushie, a Grim Foxy plushie, because I would love to see those. Of course, a Glitch Trap plushie, but it seems like for the exclusives they are doing characters that are not going to be in Security Breach. Puppet Steve also said that there was a piece of cardboard at the bottom of the box so it can properly stand up, which is nice, you know, so you can properly showcase the plushie. He also said that these are expected to be released in a couple of weeks, which is the... <laughs> I should say, the release date for these plushies has been all over the place. Originally they were available on Funko's website, but then they got taken down, some people's orders got cancelled, some orders were not cancelled, and so some people did actually get the plushies. And apparently people have been finding them in stores now, so I don't know, honestly, if the plushies are out right now. I don't know why they are... I don't know why, A, they did it this way, to have them be released, and then, you know, take them back, and then have them be re-released. I don't know why they did that, and B, I don't know why they are, they are releasing the exclusives after the main wave. It's only been just recently, um, past like, couple of years, that I've had to really look at FNAF stuff that's being released, so I don't know if they've done it this way in the past, but I will say, this plushie looks really, really good. I love it so much. It seems like Funko is finally making good plushies again, because I think we can all agree that the plushies have gone severely downhill recently. The sister location wave, and then the, um, the twisted characters, they were like, oh, interesting. But these guys, they're, they, they're looking really good. Frost Bear looked amazing, and I think this new security puppet plushie looks great as well. So again, I don't know, um, why Funko is releasing them the way they are, giving them out to Puppet Steve. Normally, I'm okay with people giving other people stuff to show off towards the audience, but it's just, when you do it like that to announce 
the product, it's just weird. I feel like if they had revealed Frostbear, um, and then this plushie earlier, and then, and then given it out to Puppet Steve, it wouldn't be as weird, but it's just, I don't know why they're doing it like this. It is weird. I don't know. It's, it's just a really weird thing that they did. Maybe, maybe when Scott said things will be different, maybe he's like, oh, well, they're not going to post about products anymore. Instead, they're just going to give them out to people, which I, I guess makes sense. But at the same time, it's like, no, don't do that. That's like, you're taking away the marketing. Then again, marketing has been pretty crap for FNAF recently, so... Yeah, so I will say I'm not a huge fan of the way that they're doing this, but, uh, I guess this is just how it's gonna be. I don't know how many exclusives there are gonna be. There will at least be another one. I will say that. I have a strong, strong feeling that there will be at least one more for it, for, um, for GameStop. I don't know if they'll do other ones. Um, I think in the past they've done Target, so maybe two or three more. And again, I don't know if they're gonna keep going back to older games to turn those characters into plushies or if they're going to focus more on the newer games. I think it is interesting um, the fact that we got a security puppet plushie again because it is from FNAF 6 and they've already done merch for FNAF 6. And if you told me that they were going back to one of the older games, um, even if you told me the specific game, I don't think security puppet would be one of the characters I was gonna list off but hey man it is a puppet so I guess they kind of already have that mold done not mold but you know what i mean right they've already done a puppet in the past so they only had to make a like a little box to put them in now i'm not trying to discredit funko's walk here because again i think this plushie looks amazing it's just i'm still trying to wrap my head around why they chose security puppet but again i think it looks fantastic so that's really it um i was originally going to post a another video today but i guess this is the one i'm posting I was gonna make a video on the update um, for the future of the console releases and also the um, releases of characters and skins and new gameplay features, stuff like that for FNAF AR, but I guess that's coming tomorrow. So yeah, you're gonna have to wait a bit longer on that. So hopefully this is all the information we have today because I really don't wanna make a third video. YouTube normally doesn't like when you do that. It's not even 1 p.m. so I have a feeling we might get something new, but I highly doubt it. But then again, you never know with FNAF. News just kind of comes out of anywhere, right? It sneaks up on you. But yeah, that's it for me right now. Thank you so much for watching. Again, Puppet Steve's videos are linked down below, and I'll see you all on the flip side.